Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and today I'm playing along with Sarah Scraps and her Steppin' Up Hop that is school-themed, or it doesn't have to be. So there, I think, are almost 30 different YouTubers that are playing along today. And so you will have tons of inspiration. So be sure to check the links down below. I'll have everybody who's playing along with this hop, as well as I'm also playing along with Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Sketches. So lots of inspiration out there. I'll have all of those links down below as well. So the sketch that was for today is up in the corner and it was at the beginning of the video. And I stay really true to the sketch, which made this whole layout come together very quickly. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is just add those painted stripes that you see in the sketch. I decided to keep with that same idea and I have pulled out a couple of different distress uh, oxide inks. One was evergreen bow I think is what I'm going to use for the splatters and then the other one was salvage patina and that's what I did the stripes with. So two colors they're kind of similar but but different uh, kind of both in that tealy green blue kind of uh, color wave and so I am following the sketch for having those splatters down the one side of the page and then those stripes that um, have the three stripes in the middle of the page and so that is going to, what I'm going to have for my background. I just used a piece of white cardstock here. I did not prime this cardstock although it is the basil marshmallow cardstock so it does take the wet mediums pretty well and it doesn't warp. So I did set that off to the side to dry and now I'm going to bring in my pattern papers that I'm going to use for this layout and I have a couple of, well one is a full 12 by 12 which is from the, it was a school themed kit by Photoplay which is a couple of years old. I, I want to say it was something genius or little genius or something like that maybe. Uh, I'm going to use a piece of that uh, backpack pattern paper and then I have this scrap of green or I guess it's not not it's not lime green that's not lime green so jadeite green I guess you could call that one I'm going to use that that's going to be the first mat and then I'm going to mat my photo again a second time with this backpack paper and that's all that I'm going to use from each of those patterns and then you do see a sort of almost like a tone on tone uh, geometric pattern paper that is on my mat right now. That is actually what I'm going to use to frame my entire layout. So the white cardstock is going to go on top of that and that I am using instead of a piece of solid cardstock. I thought it would be fun to do something that just has a small little pattern in the background and so that is going to frame my entire layout there as you see and that's what it's going to look like once I go off camera once it's dry and glue that all down. So there you see I've glued everything down. I did pop my photo up on some craft foam and so I haven't glued that down yet because I want to do or I want to lay out all of the bits and pieces that I pulled for this layout. Now I went and pulled the sticker sheet that went with this collection and I just went through the entire sticker sheet and just pulled off a whole bunch of stickers. I took my powder tool and took the stickiness off the back so I could play around with the placement and basically what I'm going to do is follow that line of snowflakes that is in the sketch. I am going to instead of having snowflakes I'm going to build it with all of these stickers that I pulled from that sticker sheet and so this entire layout is built with just a very few scraps of pattern paper that little bit of mixed media in the background and the rest of the embellishments for this page are stickers and what I end up doing is once you see me lay everything down I will go off camera and glue everything down and for some of the bigger pieces I do pop those up on some fun foam so again it gives me some dimension on my page and I really love the way it looks I love this sort of I don't want to say sn sticker sneeze because I was kind of deliberate in my placement but that's almost what it kind of feels like is I have this sort of cascading set of stickers or embellishments or die cuts whatever you want to call them that's going to come from that top uh, of the layout to the bottom and I really love the effect 
This layout was super quick to put together because of course I was following that sketch pretty closely. Now once I have everything in place and glued down, it is the finishing touches and so I am going to first finish off with my title. Now you could say my title could be Star Student, my title could be First Day, and you could even read it Star Student First Day and then I'm going to spell out here he's ready. So there are many different options that if you want to make whatever any of these be the title or put them all together and make it the title, completely up to you. Um, but I did want to add a little bit of something extra that gave me, a, again, a little bit of a different texture too with the um, word stickers, give a bit of dimension and texture to the page. So once I have that down, I really, at this point, I'm really happy with the layout and there's not a whole lot that I think it really needs. So all I'm going to do here is just sprinkle some of these sequins in and amongst all of the cluster from the top to the bottom. And then I just put three over to the side of the title and off camera, I will glue all of those down, but that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this page. So like I said, please be sure to check out the links down below and go and see all of the amazing projects that will be shared today in this hop, as well as 30 days of sketches and scrap timber. So, so much inspiration out there this month. It has been so fun to see everybody's creations. So with that, guys, here are the still photos and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.